Let's get started with now learning. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, where I share my journey in tech, both on the education and learning side, as well as the career side. This is part of a longer series in which I am going for my certified technical architect certification. In today's video, we're gonna look at Now Learning, which is ServiceNow's learning platform. Uh, this platform has a combination of paid courses as well as some free courses. And in this video, we're just gonna show you how to register, get set up, and then just some other benefits that I think you may wanna look into. Okay, so here we are at the Now Learning page. And it says, learn service now, your journey starts here. And this is a really cool website. There's different trainings that are available. They have a program called Rise Up Service Now. We have the career journeys and these career journeys break out into the sysadmin career journey, the app developer, implementer, business process analyst, and then technical project manager. There are some on-demand courses that you can get set up with after you register. And then here are some stats. So it says there are over 73,000 individuals who have earned a ServiceNow credential. 69% of professionals who started ServiceNow training say that the training helped their careers. And then 77% is the amount of talent gained for the individual when they went through the courses. There's also a resource center here and then social media. So let's go ahead and focus on first registering with Now Learning. And if you have another screen that you're watching this on, let's do this together. And that way you can get set up because this is really gonna be a critical first step for you. So step one is to sign up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the sign up option here. So if you have an existing account, you can go ahead and just sign in. So that means if you signed up with any other ServiceNow page, then you should have a sign in that you can use. But if you don't, we'll just go ahead and fill this information out together. So you're gonna fill out your first name, last name, email, country, create a password, and then let them know that you're real and check the agreement. When you do your password, you must meet these criteria. So at least have an uppercase, lowercase, a number, a special character, SV eight characters total, and it can't contain any part of your username. Once we have our password, we're just gonna check, I am not a robot. We'll go through this activity, get that nice green check mark, and then we're gonna just agree to the terms here. And then you'll get this message saying that the idea has been created. You'll go to your email, go through the verification process, and this email will be valid for one day. So it's really important that you authenticate your account soon. And then you can always reach out to the support team if you can't find the email. Generally though, if it's new, it's probably in your spam or junk mail. So once you log in, as you set up everything correctly, you should see a welcome message with your name. And it's asking if you're ready to learn something new. You can see the career journey information. And I have to say that the platform didn't look like this before. ServiceNow did a facelift, I think back in May. So this is a really cool setup. It's a lot easier to navigate in my opinion. If you scroll down, you can see what things you're taking. So what courses you've completed. I can see everything I've completed here, what paths I've been working on, when I enrolled, how many badges you've earned, and a few other achievements. We have the resource center here. Now, a couple other things I wanna bring your, to your attention are the credentials tab and the help center. So let's look at credentials really quick. You can see that they have get credential, credential verification, and then the program guide. So we'll just look at each page. So this is the get credentialed page. And here it walks you through uh, what do you need to get into these different roles. So they have different paths. And let's just do system administrator. I think that's one of the more common paths that people go through. So if you look at this one, it talks about basically what is the role of a, of a sysadmin and what are they responsible for? So coordination, making sure that you're keeping up with instance upgrades, that you're knowledgeable, 
and that you can oversee the security of the platform. And then these are just some things you could take along your journey to learn more about that role. Then there's the ServiceNow Credentialing Program Guide. So this is really a good guide for any credentialing program you're going through. And you can just see all the different pieces of content you can go through. I highly advise you go through this so you know what it takes to qualify for an exam and then what it's like to take an exam on the day of. If there's any other prerequisites you need in order to get certified. Next thing is the Help Center. And from a basic ITSM support standpoint, you'll get to see what incidents and incident management looks like. So if you have to open up a ticket by clicking here, you can create a case. Like you see that I had a case right here. You can look at guides and explore the knowledge base. You can ask a question, you can create a new case. So it's really a good useful tool to have. You can see their on-demand training content. And if any of you took advantage of the free CSA certification, then you remember this picture here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just click on our initials here. And when you do that, you're going to select profile and then it'll take you to all of your backend profile information. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. You can see all the lessons that you've currently worked on are in progress. So I have a lot of things that I've started and haven't completed. You can access other learnings your vouchers, interests, things like that. Depending on your role, you can look at other components of the platform and then you can look at your achievements so I can look at certifications and then my preferences in terms of the web assessor email. This is going to come into play when you're actually taking your exam. And the good thing about the web assessor email is let's say you go to a different company and you're working, they have some free training prop opportunities, but you need to confirm that you have a certification. You can basically move your web assessor account around and that'll follow you wherever you go. So that way you're not locked in, but this is a really good page to see where you're at. Once you get certifications, this is what it looks like here. Now I transferred this particular certification over from a different account and the date is wrong. This should be, it should have been July, 2022 or something like that. But nonetheless, I'm certified. And then I've also taken the Delta for Tokyo. So this is also indication of my certification. Now, when you're going through vouchers, I'm not going to, open up mine because I don't want anyone taking my code. But <laughs> when you go to vouchers, you can see all of the things that you have vouchers for and then how long that voucher is good for before it expires. So generally it's about a year from the time that you claim it. So you'll complete all the prerequisite course material. There will be a section that says, okay, now you're eligible for the voucher. And then when you go to my vouchers, you'll have those vouchers that you need to claim. So you can claim them. And when you claim them, it's not going to force you to start the activity yet, but you'll have it a year from the time that you claim that voucher to actually take the exam. Now, one other cool feature that I have not taken advantage of myself, but I definitely intend on is this beta resume function. So in your profile, when you click on here, there'll be an option that says resume, a service now resume, and basically you can click on it and it'll display some information regarding what you've completed. And you can really build this up. You can talk about your history. There's an about me section that you can add information on and then just share creations that you've made. The great thing is that you can use this to showcase your work and then build a reputation within the community. So I'm definitely gonna be utilizing this more. I'll definitely share my public profile at some point when I clean this up a little bit. And that way it'll help me get more exposure and work with other great creators and citizen developers and admins and all those the good folks within the community. All right, so there you have it. That's uh, now learning uh, in a nutshell. There's tons of great courses and stuff you can explore there. We'll look at that a little bit more on how to actually get to each course when I do course reviews. But for now, just play around in the environment. You can definitely look up free courses through the search bar and just see what's available, see what's out there. Maybe explore some of the other resource pages like the community page and the, the Rise Up page, you can check those out as well. Again, these are things that are gonna help get you the exposure you need. I encourage you to share the work you're doing, share your love for the platform. And you'd be surprised who's looking for your talent and your knowledge and your expertise, and even your desire to learn. All these things are great intangibles that make a 
true thought leader within an organization. So that's it. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope it was valuable to you. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, things I can answer about the now learning website or the CTA journey as a whole. And until next time, I will catch you in the next video. Take care. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud.